Monday morning found officials like the building inspector in Northampton continuing to assess the damage from Friday's storm, even as the cleanup was underway. Every nor'easter has its own uh, characteristics. Ann and John Hoyt were removing the debris the ocean had left behind on their lawn, something they've grown accustomed to doing after storms. This one here in particular was strong, but we've had a couple others that are even stronger, stronger than this. There is significant damage to all the parks um, throughout the seacoast from Odeon down to Hampton. There is a lot of debris, a lot of rocks, large rocks, small rocks, sand covering everything. There's a lot of erosion to a lot of our, um, a lot of the parking lots as well as the beaches. But the main focus was on the roads, trying to keep them passable. When the waves come over, they knock the rocks into the highway and just trying to keep the highway clear and keep it safe. Um, and that's been the biggest issue. By mid-morning, Route 1A was back open. But there is another storm in the forecast. And while the Rye Department of Public Works says they're getting ready, they admit there's not a lot they can do. Mostly what we do, of course, is have our heavy equipment ready and then have lots of road close signs and shut the road off as it floods. It's, it's, it's really becoming a, a normal uh, process for us. We are still nearly two hours away from high tide and already the ocean is coming over the seawall here in Northampton. Now Rise police and fire chiefs are urging the public to stay away from the ocean on Wednesday. Not only is it dangerous for them, it also makes it tougher for emergency officials and public works employees to do their jobs. Reporting live in Northampton, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.